Welcome to Dili, capital city of the world's newest nation. It is rich with natural beauty and resources, but poor by every other standard. The GDP per capita here is just $405 U.S. a year. Poverty coupled with political unrest has created a tense situation. Upon arrival, a security expert explained the situation to me as a simmering pot with a shaky lid. Political and ethnic tensions exploded in April earlier this year. The scars are evident everywhere. Acts of arson and gang fights continue every day. The initial riots were sparked by clash between the police force and the military. Months after the explosive violence, 56 IDP camps house over 100,000 IDPs across Dili and the surrounding districts. IDP stands for Internally Displaced Person, the refugees in their own country. These families had to flee their homes either because they were torched and destroyed by gangs or they simply don't feel safe enough there at night. They packed up all their belongings to live in these tents even though their own homes may be just down the street. Ivonia is 18 years old. She lives at an IDP camp at her school. My family are in the other camp refuse. My, uh, my father and my mother my, and all, uh, all my family, and then I alone in the Cambridge Fields of St. Joseph. Ivonia's drive is what keeps her in school, separated from her family. She says the situation in the streets would make it impossible for her to come to school every day from her family's IDP camp, so she chooses to live at her school. But I want to study, study hard to develop my country. Education is key to rebuilding a country. Nowhere is it more evident than in East Timor, where 60% of the population is 18 years of age and under. CARE provides a vital link in the educational system by funding Lafayette, the only Tetum language reading material available to schools. Children figure prominently in every issue. They really like uh, Lafayette magazine because uh, this is the, the only magazine for children in East Timor now. So it's very popular for children in East Timor. This magazine is produced five times a year and every single primary school student receives one. It's an expansive operation that begins at the brainstorming level through to production and delivery. I think that education is very, very important in East Timor because uh, now um, we don't have many uh, educated per, uh, people to, to be a leader for our country. There are many ways to be a leader. 70% of the youth population in Dili are involved in gangs, and for some, these organized groups are how they express leadership. Gangs aren't an entirely positive way to organize communities. However, surprisingly, their activities aren't entirely negative either. In fact, the very definition of a gang is tested by the reality of the situation in Dili. People have a sense of belonging. Like, young people like to have a group, they like to associate with something. It's something that they, are, that they are proud of. You can never say that a gang is just good or just bad. Like usually, a gang does a lot of positive things. It brings youth together, they organize themselves to do different activities, they play music together, they do activities in the community, they help to their friends, they help to their parents, they help to elder people. But sometimes, when they get provoked or bad things happen, some of the members of that group would, would go and burn down houses, get, get into fights, get themselves into trouble. At the CARE compound, art students are staying out of trouble by working with the neighborhood children to create a mural for peace. Arsenio Pachau Bain is the Minister of Labor and Community Reinsertion. His main focus today at this meeting is how to reintegrate people back into communities that are gripped by fear and gang violence. The most important message that uh, I think youth guns or youth in Timor need to, need to realize is that uh, the future is not uh, uh, tomorrow or next week or next year. The future is uh, today. Respect the young people so then they can feel that they also can contribute something positive to develop this country. As a musician with lots of young fans, Ego knows the responsibility and future of the country depends upon the young people of East Timor. <laughs> I agree if we, we form a lot of gangs to do something positive 
for, for this country. Like a game for music games, poetry games, or uh, painting games, or landscaping games. A lot of games which is makes people uh, happy and fun and doing entertainment, not just to destroy things. Music, it can be used to heal the trauma of the people so then people can find themselves again. I believe that because of East Timorese cannot find a way to reheal their uh, trauma or problems. So that's why the only way they can express through violence. The future of East Timor remains a question mark as their complicated political history continues to unfold. The most pressing and immediate question mark revolves around the current 100,000 IDPs in Dili and the imminent rainy season, at which point all these tents will flood. No one has a solution for combating the torrential downpour that will undoubtedly place even more pressure on an already cramped, tense and fragile city.